contrast between human wisdom and divine wisdom. Human wisdom will say, I must destroy my enemies and give them no chance. But divine wisdom in Matthew 5 verse 44 tells us to love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Human wisdom will say, I must celebrate when those who are against me suffer or when they struggle. But divine wisdom tells me in Proverbs 24 verse 17, do not rejoice when your enemy falls and do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles. And we can think, well, this doesn't make sense. My enemies want to destroy me. They only want to see me struggle. But the word of God is telling me to love them, to not be glad when they stumble. Now, I would like to tell you today that your enemies are placed in your life for a reason. We all have enemies. From the person at work who's trying to make us look bad, to the neighbor that's always trying to start some kind of argument. Even the person or people who walked away and betrayed you after you were faithful and loyal. We all have enemies. We all have critics. We have naysayers. People who want to see us do good, but never better than them. But you see, the Bible, the Word of God, divine wisdom tells us that God will make your enemies your footstool. The same people that provoke you, antagonize you, belittle you and stress you out. Those people will be made your footstool. Now a footstool in the Bible is symbolic of humility. It's a low place. It's under your feet, meaning it's not significant. The term footstool actually points to the one using that footstool as being far superior than the footstool itself. And it's amazing that while God calls the earth his footstool, he still humbled himself. He still left heaven for earth. He still traded glory for human flesh to become the one who lived on that footstool. And while we are not footstools to our enemies, we are required to act with humility towards them. Don't place yourself too highly in your own judgment and be offended that not everyone will like you. Don't take offense when you encounter someone who actually opposes you. We are required to be humble, to be meek and not to retaliate, to show the same love as Christ who knew that the people on this earth, the people he created, would one day crucify him. But yet he still loved them. Now we should also look at our enemies and footstools from a different angle. They are necessary for elevation. Your enemies will make the perfect footstools to get you to the next level. Judas had a role to play in God's plan. He wasn't the person.